Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode here in our Mafia 2 Definitive Edition playthrough. I appreciate all the love you guys have been showing. Like I said, if you guys keep showing love, I'll keep pumping out the videos for you guys every single day. So without further ado, we've got an annoying ass phone that's ringing in my ear. And we're gonna see who the hell is on the other end of the line. Okay, 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 I hear you, Jesus. Uh, hello. Hey, Vito, it's Eddie. Of course hey, it is, who else would it be? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, all right, what's happening? I, I can't tell you over the phone. Then why'd you call right, me? Right You're gonna send me a pigeon in the mail. Okay, more driving. Meet Eddie at Joe's right away. Now, this looks... This is different. We're, are we in a house now? Oh, baby, we're moving on up in the crime world. Okay, Vito, I see you. You're still a nasty slob of a man, but I, uh, I respect it. Where's our closet, right here? Where's our, uh, can we put on our baby blue suit? Oh, yes, we can. That'll be the theme. I like it, I like it. Now, where's our garage? Oh my God, Vito, you got an empty pool and everything, my man. Ooh, okay, but well we might as well take Lucas' car. Why not? I kind of like driving it. Okay, and let's go see Eddie and Joe, I guess. Okay, it better be worth it. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, I went what you got? A baseball bat, and they look like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty, what are you doing here? Joe said you needed help, and since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Oh, this guy. Take you along again for what exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my man, Vito. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Falcon. we're real Hi, close. Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <sighs> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. That means war. Anything we do now, I'm going to be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's going to act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're going to take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Let's go oh, after sure. it yeah, then. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight. In the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. Sounds good I to me. I got a plan. Shit. Joe, put that thing away. <laughs> Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just got to press Christ this. Sake, put it away now. Okay. What's the matter with you? Okay. You're such a chicken shit. <laughs> okay, okay. So now we're going to waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building. But everybody in a room where it goes off... Is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. I don't got a good feeling about this one. Well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today. Just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. Our asses. What do you got against him anyway? I known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. Well, I got a feeling that, that the fact that we're even talking about him means it's not necessarily gonna go that smoothly at all. So... Hey, hey, Joe. So, uh, what kind of job is it? Shut your you pie hole, Marty. Gabish. Oh, okay. but hey, if you need it, I got my piece right here. Yeah, we get it, Marty. We get it, buddy. I'm always driving. 
Come on, Joe. You're the last one in the back. Let's go. Let's go. Just don't go busting it up on the way there. This is our getaway car. Plus, I'm pretty sure that explosives and car crashes don't go together too good. Explosives? <laughs> yeah, for a little fireworks show. Oh, boy. Forget you heard that. We're going to the Empire Arms Hotel. Park in the underground parking lot and use the back entrance. We're definitely going to blow ourselves up a time or two before we get there. I've just got a feeling the way that I, I drive in this game. All right, here's the hotel. The entrance to the garage is on the other side. Got it. We kind of had it already mapped out, Joe. We didn't really need your uh, your advice, but I appreciate it, my man. His expert driving skills. Park in there. And hey, we got to leave all our guns in the car. The last thing we need is one of Clemente's goons searching us and finding them. So we got to do this without any guns in case things go south? Oh, right. I don't you got a good feeling. Go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because we're going to need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Oh, something's going to go haywire, the man. The entire 18th floor, the third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. So how are we going to get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. What, you want to wash your shorts before we do this? Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. <laughs> this kid, dude. He's gonna fuck something up. We'll grab some hotel worker uniforms, then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously? When did you become the smart one? Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here. So don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? Stay here. Ah, uh, where's the fucking bridesmaid? Okay. Let's do it, Joe. Ah, shit. It's closed. The idiot was supposed to leave it open for us. Now we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows up. Fuck! Can't we just get in some other way? You could try, but I'm gonna wait here for a while just in case Numbnut shows up. That lazy piece of shit. What other way are we supposed to even be able to try? Find a way inside and look for some other cleaner's uniforms. Okay. Hey, you see King Lao? Hey, look at that. We did well, where it. Where is he? He go on smoke break. <laughs> where is he? What's up, man? You need a cleaner's uniform to sneak through the hotel. Like this? Like this? Look, I'm really sorry I couldn't get here sooner. Another minute, you would have been late to your own damn funeral. Sorry, I was. All right, enough. Just get the hell out of here. I mean, we did it. I guess we could have waited. I don't know. See? I got it all under control. Come on, let's go pick up our uniform. Whatever you say, Joe. Aren't these the unis? They got a size big enough for you, Joe? Bing! Vito, one more thing. Here, put this on. Are you fucking serious? So nobody recognizes us. Just put it on. <laughs> Great. The stash. Let's oh. go. Oh, yeah, Vito. That's a good look for you, buddy. Hey, you two, <laughs> get over here. <laughs> Shut your clean ass up. up. This fucking mess, you idiots. Listen, I had to clean piss. Clean this shit up, will you? Out of a toilet Somebody's in prison. Slip and break I will head. literally bust your nose if you talk to me like that. Let's go. <clears throat> Move it. Oh, my God. Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, Richie, come with us. Y'all are going to regret angry. treating us like ass. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. I'm with it. I 
haven't seen Henry in a while. Hasn't changed a bit. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I hope he don't come back before we do our thing. Henry's good people, even if he does work for Clemente. Yeah, but what if he does? Don't even think about that. I feel like an idiot with this thing on my lip. <laughs> yeah? Well, what if we run into somebody we know? This way, they won't recognize us. Fucking hope so. About damn time. Shut Where your ass you up. Been? Uh, Somebody you spilled know? something in the oh, conference room. They all smoke too. I will literally pimp slap every last one of these. Don't get recognized by Clemente's guys. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I got a cleaning uniform on, and I have a mustache. So what do you what do you want me to do? Huh? What do you want me to do? These two are here to clean up the, uh, mess. The mess? Oh, that mess. What All mess? Right, come on, you two. Oh, this is about to be weird. The There's gonna be like a dead body. Pretty hard. About five or six times. Oh, yeah. So now there's blood all over the fucking place. And we got a meeting that's supposed to start soon. So you gotta get this shit cleaned up. And you gotta make it snappy. Got it. He uh, must be the clumsiest guy in America, huh? Fucking pricks. Hey, calm down, will ya? Just kicking the damn bucket everywhere. Much longer. Hey, hey, yeah. Give me a hand here. Oh, shit. Uh, that. The, oh, fuck. Uh, the yellow, the blue... And the plus, and the plus, and uh, the red, and max. He's making me nervous, man. The blue, and cross over here. Perfect. Okay, the hard part is almost over. <clears throat> okay, now what? Scrub the stains, put your back into it. You missed the spot, asshole. We're working on it here. We're working on it. Let's see this mustache. I'm a man of my word. Wow, look at that. Spick and span, good as new. Yeah, looks like you're done. All right, you can get out of here. All right. Follow Joe to the roof. Okay, now let's get to the roof. One wish. You want. No, you don't see nothing. You don't recognize me. Don't get recognized by Clemente's guys. I mean, like I said, That's I got Clemente. a mustache. We could take him out right now. If we had a gun. Yeah, and we'd be dead in two seconds. Just take it easy and stick to the plan. You have the loudest whispering voice I've ever heard, Joe. Okay. Damn. I ain't used to this much exercise. Why did I gotta put so many fucking stairs? That's pretty good. What do you want me to do? Come on, Joe. We're gonna... Vito. Vito, hold on. I forgot something. Oh, no. Yeah. This is for you. Just in case something goes wrong. What was it? Nice. Some piece of work, eh? Oh. 1911 coal with a modified clip. did you, uh... Holds 23 bullets. 23? The ammo goes quick. And don't go losing it. These are the only two in the whole world. Thanks. Never mind. We gotta go to the window washing. Wow. Come on. We're definitely gonna need it. Yeah, come down and give me a fucking Shit, I meant these guys. Fuck me. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, 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 this is like an oyster. Hold on, hold on, check it out. <laughs> Okay. Now what? Find the hotel's window washing platform. Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Get lost. Shit. Okay, Vito. 
Here we go. Oh, 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 what are the way we're supposed to do it? Oh, oh, that's the best you got. I won't want to get on your bad side. Come here, bitch. Let's go, Vito. Oh. <laughs> Where you like that? The best. <clears throat> Golly. Oh. He just Tony two tapped me in the head. I'm gonna get you. You know that was that was a lot. That was a lot simpler to be honest than what we did the last time. What was that? Excuse me, come again? Be careful, there might be more of them. I mean, there probably is. Can I grab this man's Tommy gun? Hello. Thank you, thank you. I still am just partial to this 1911. How does he even hit me there? Oh, I'm ass. I'm like actual ass. Dink. All right, let's keep her moving. Come on, baby. Casual. Is there more? Peek your head. Yeah, sir. What a pretty view. Such a nice view for some murders. All right, I think we did what we need to do. Hopefully, somehow, nobody in that entire building just heard a, a gunshot going on above them. Enough to carry on with their uh, their ongoing meeting. What the hell are you two doing? I wasn't done with my. Yeah, you might want to rethink that one, my man. Jesus, okay. Okay, don't shoot. I'll do whatever you say. Yeah. All right, put your hands behind your back. He ain't gonna hurt you. <laughs> Poor guy. Here's some tape. Tie him up. Sorry, buddy. You should consider yourself lucky. Everybody else got shot. He's not wrong. That is a very true statement. If you don't believe me, just, you know, look around. Okay, get on. We got work to do. I know we do. What do you think we've been doing? Don't act suspicious. Okay. Sure. Hey. How much wire you got? Enough. How much is enough? Will it reach up to the roof? Of course not. We'll just go up one or two floors and blow it. Oh, boy. So much for you being a smart one. What? This is crazy. What if the explosion takes us out, too? It won't. We'll barely feel it. Hey, you don't know that one. Better not. If we fall off this thing, you're gonna be dead before we hit the ground. <laughs> okay. We're here. Okay. This is the right floor. Vito, grab the squeegee and start washing windows so we don't look suspicious. I gotta connect the wires. You guys have no idea. There's a big ass bomb sitting right underneath you. Okay, we're here with one of these cutscenes where we have no music and no uh, background sound, so it's just very strange. <laughs> And all of a sudden, boys, <gasps> boom. Uh, that's it. Okay, got it. Take us up a bit. Payback's a bitch. Ah, yeah, just like clockwork. <laughs> ah, here we go. It's so strange without the music. These assholes ain't gonna know. Whoa! Jesus Whoa! Whoa! Oh my God! Fuck it in! What the hell was that? 
I don't know. That was so corny. The thing just blew. Yeah, it did. Really feel it, all right? right, all right. Let's go take a look. Are we going back I don't down? Fucking listen to you. I swear, you're like a half a retard sometimes. Oh, okay then. <sighs> what the? Jesus Shit. Christ! I almost pissed on my fucking shoes what in here. What a fucking mess. I felt like a fucking earth. What? The, what the fuck? Oh shit! Lucky bastard. You assholes! You're gonna fuck, die for this! Get away! Come on, Fido. Okay, let's go. We're on a we're on a a, a chase now, baby. Hey, we sure made one hell of a mess. Uh, yeah, but it wasn't enough. Move it. Get you. You never know. No. I didn't do anything. No. Must have watered down his martini. Back me up, Vito. Watch out! Behind him, flash Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Hey, 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 hey! We have got a literal sliver of health. Let me, uh, let me stop this bleeding here. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. This way, Vito. You won't get through there. Come on. Sh you shoot like my hoodies. Ah, oh, fuck. The sprinklers are going off. Yeah. Because really? I thought it was rain. Wise ass. I can't see a damn thing through all this water. Through all this water. No way we're Quick still going to mess this up and he's going to get away, right? There's more of them coming. Come on, assholes. I'm waiting for you. Three, two. Hey, what the heck is going on here? Get out of there, lady. What the heck is going on here? Almost shot you in your bum, ma'am. All right, well, let's go. I'm so tired of them making us do all of this Next shit for it to not bomb, even work. Hey. How the fuck was I supposed to know Clementi will be in a bedroom? He wouldn't have been if the bomb didn't go off early. True. Don't worry, we'll get him. I'm not the. I'm not so confident. I feel like he's gonna run into the kid Marty down in the garage. I feel like Marty's gonna die, cause we're putting him in a bad place at a bad time, and he's gonna try to get too ego about it. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. What, what's up, buddy? What happened was... See, I'm telling you. Marty, no, no, fuck! They shot him. I told you. Joe, come on, we gotta get out of here. I told you, man. And that's on you. That's on you, Joe. Kill that fuck. That's all on you. Kid should have never even been in that situation. Yeah. Gosh you think damn. It's over. Wrong, assholes. All right, there's two of them. If they split up, make sure you follow Clementi, not the other guy. Which one is he? Guy. He's in the black car, right? Don't worry about that. Just follow Clementi. He's in the black limo. Got hey, Joe, it. I got eyes too, you know. <gasps> Joe, oh, you are shot. taking bullets, buddy. There goes one of them. Nice job. Oh, Clemente's next. <laughs> Back. Going in. Oh yeah, Joe, get him. Get him. Get him, Joe. Come on, baby. Did we do it? I think he did it. Him. Okay, we did it. Sure, let's check. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh man, he's really making sure, huh? Oh Jesus. This is for Marty. Golly, Joe. Now it's over. Let's go to my place. He's a cold-blooded killer. Holy. Want a beer? Give me Eddie's number. I'll call him. All right. This is Joe. It's done. Everything went smooth. No, it didn't. Why? Marty's dead. What? They got Marty. We left them there. Okay, okay. What about Clementi? Done. All right. Hey, don't worry about the kid. Small price to pay. The main Sm thing is it's Small done. price? Come on now. That's my fucking friend you're talking hey, about. Hey, Joe, Joe. Don't go taking it out on me. It was y'all right there. Nobody forced the kid to go. That's true. Yeah, I'm sorry, but shit happens, right? Come by the Falcon tomorrow to get your money. Yeah, whatever. The fuck you're sorry! All right, take it easy now. All right, calm down. I'm sorry too, more than you think, but you knew the risks. You too! Hey, this was a dangerous job. You took him along, he died. True! What, you think the war was any different? And Eddie didn't even know the kid, so don't blame him. You should go home. Okay, later, fucking asshole. Okay, well, just give me a minute to get changed. Huh. I'm sorry, kid. I am so sorry. I feel bad, but he did. It was like almost exclusively all on Joe. Yay, we did it. I still understand like why we have to go home. Like I get what they're trying to do, but it's just it's just like more annoying than anything. All right, use the bed. We'll pick up in chapter eleven. Maybe, maybe not. We're still in chapter ten. Oh god. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Man, are they really gonna drag this one out? Who the hell is calling me again, man? Hello. Is this a veto? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Oh, man. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty, and now he done just gone playing salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now look, I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Vito, you got to come Vito. on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey, oh, dude, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Hey. Okay, let's if go. You cut him then. Off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man. All right. Just hurry. All right. How many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. So now we gotta go drive down to the Lone Star to get Joe. In the same chapter, this isn't even a different chapter, by the way. And then probably drive his ass back here. Or have to go home after we just... After we just drove from Joe's. This is one of those that's just like... You know... I don't, I don't know. This is one of those that's gonna bother me. I'm gonna get annoyed by this mission. I already apologized for that one. Oh, Vito, you All here? Right. Where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off. But the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door and just give me a minute with him. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito, about time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe, I wonder why. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. You drive here? Nah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, 
Finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about to leave? Marty. I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so <clears> sorry, <throat> kid. This never should have happened. Never should have happened! Oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. You gotta be kidding me. What Bro. the fuck is wrong with you? Are you that serious, Joe? You just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm gone. Oh, Joe. Are you kidding me, man? Joe, I just want you to know something, buddy. You are making my life a living hell. Hey, you guys don't see anything, okay? This is not a dead body, and this is not going in the trunk. He seemed like a really nice guy, too, man. He didn't even call the cops on Joe. He let everybody drive his business out, and what does he do? He gets shot for it. Good job, Joe. You're a real asshole, buddy. Unbelievable. And now I gotta take Joe home after I just drove from his house? And then I probably have to drive from Joe's house all the way back to my house just to end the chapter. That is stupid. All right, here you go, here. buddy. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door. Thanks, right? Vito. And hey, I'm sorry about... Look, just... Call me tomorrow, okay? And so now I gotta drive all the way back home to end the chapter. Dump the body. Be discreet. What does... Uh, what, what? I gotta go dump it all the way up there, and then you're gonna make me drive home? This one mission, this one mission is gonna take over an hour. And the actual mission, like the good parts of the mission, are gonna be like 20, 30 minutes of it. Half of it is just filling, filler driving. Oh man, I am heated. Oh, we gotta drive the car into the press. Oh, so we're just getting rid of the whole car, huh? Interesting. Use a control panel upstairs to crush the car. Okay. Well, that's one way to get rid of a body, I guess. Ah, oh, shit, what a day. I should go home now. And so now, after that, after you've made me get rid of my car. Now I have to drive all the way back home. After I already went from Joe's to my home. Oh my god. We're home. Yay. Get my ass into the next chapter, please. Oh my god. Imagine the phone rings again. Oh, hey, Vito. I'm drunk again. Oh my lord. Chapter 11, A Friend of Ours. Now somebody's knocking on my door. So now we've... Who the hell is that? We've gone from being called to now just showing up on my door, huh? I'm gonna answer you in my damn undies. Because I could care less. Change my clothes. You're gonna make... Oh my god. Okay, dude. Where's my baby blue? What do you want? Hey, Beto. Oh. Long time no see. Henry. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. Okay. Get into the car with Henry. Are you driving? Or somehow I'm driving? Of course, I'm always driving. Even in your car, I'm driving. Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, yeah. Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this, why? Well, 
Yeah, look. Now you're going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. Oh, this is weird. He, he has no idea. Right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I'd work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I Oh, thought, he does know. Uh, maybe... You think you could put in a good word for me? Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Thanks, Vito. I owe you one. So that's it? So, uh... <laughs> how's life? <laughs> you mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. Nope. That's funny. Because a buddy of Joe's got popped in a parking lot that day. So I just figured you two in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this what way. are you doing? You and Joe out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this <laughs> right now? Forever again? Yeah. Don't worry about it. You do what you had to do. That's great. You call this out Can on our bullshit real quick. A different line of work. To be honest with you. Not really. This is what I am. Yo, Henry, your car is ruined, brother. Yeah. I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Enough for nothing. How come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. Nope. So now what? What, what, like, what are we doing here, man? What are we, what are we doing? We're just gonna have a drink, say Shabbat Shalom, and be on about our way? Or like, hey, what are we doing? Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Do my best. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. True. Yeah. Can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right. A guy I know who works for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. Oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point. Unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? What, is he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <laughs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> uh, he is? <laughs> All right. Go get him, then. I've got a feeling they already know each other. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Oh, maybe Don't call not. me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Yeah, take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now, that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clemente and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. Dead bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. Now what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. We're gonna have to kill this now, man? I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. 
But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. He helped yeah, us out a lot. Well, it looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See you. Okay, sick. So we hired Henry, we got $3,000, and, and that's it. Warren Leo. Oh shit! Oh, oh this could get Scaletta. this could get spicy. I love the way you said my name, Mr. Scaletta. We're on our way in this man's milk wagon. Oh, we got we have we have a time. Oh, the milk wagon may have not been the play. With how far we have to go and how fast this is moving, the milk wagon may have not been the play. Oh, dude! Oh, we're gonna make it in so much time this time. Oh, that's not even going to be close. We still have a quarter of the time left. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I really wanted to do this in the in the milk wagon. Yeah, could you fuck off? Thank you. Get out of the car, Vito. Leo! Leo! Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here. Oh, shut Leo, Leo, up put here. it away. It's me, Vito. Vito, what the hell are you doing here? You could have called Leo, us. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong with okay, you? Okay, so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clementi lied and said he was in a dope business. Lied? Vito. Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on. How do you know all this? I got my sources. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you. Stop talking, for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go. Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage. They don't know we're expecting them. I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. Uh -huh. You hired your friend to whack me? <laughs> exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit. Henry oh, can't boy. see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Uh, escape with Leo. Don't let Henry see you. Get down to the backyard this way. Just need a rope or something. Go get some sheets from the laundry. Go search the laundry basket near the bedroom. Okay. What the hell's the bedroom? Oh shit. I still say we should shoot the bastards. Where exactly is the bedroom? You act like I'm supposed to know these things. Vito, what the hell are you doing here? All right, take it easy, Henry. <sighs> Put the gun down and send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys, wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. Does that mean we failed or were we not supposed to succeed? This is take weird. Seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know anything was going to put a contract out on him. I had to warn him. You got to understand. Yeah, but you got to understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and I'll have me killed. Damn it, Henry. I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I got to finish the job. If you don't want to watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. 
Guido, thanks for everything, but leave us now. I've had a long, good life. Damn! And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's got to be a way. Guido. Go. Oh, don't be a hero, Leo. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. No, we can't let this go down like that. No way, Vito. No way. Oh, because I couldn't find some damn dryer sheets? Or some sheets in the laundry? Are you kidding me? Damn. And it's done. You owe me big for this one, pal. What? Hey, kid. Leo. You want a drink? Well, it's a gunshot. Your friend and I made a deal. I'm gonna disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Hey, look at that. Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. All right, let's go. You got some nice-ass cars, Leo? Oh, yes, you do, my man. Come on, buddy. Okay, Vito. Now, get me over to the train station, if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. You, uh, gonna tell Frank what Brother! I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got complicated real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. And what did you expect? You swear the oath, you put on a fancy suit, and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to the Why are you, you so loud? My and then I'm gonna head for the airport. And I'm gonna go someplace warm. There you Tomorrow, go. I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere. <laughs> sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. There you go, Leo. Sure. Carlo wants me dead. And sticking around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. All right, <clears throat> here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today. Risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man. Later, Leo. And now we go home! Again! Oh, honey, I'm home! Frankie, what, what are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to do. Oh, I his sister. I home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric! Oh, what, what did he do? He, he drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, and he, does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito, please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey. When you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito. So you're gonna no, make me drive all the way him, back please. home again oh, and then maybe go somewhere time. else. Oh, man. These guys are starting to get on my last nerve. Heard you been putting hands on my sister. We don't take too kindly about that around here, my man. You're gonna learn a lesson today, boy. You're gonna learn a lesson today. Is it that? Nope. Is it this?
can do the same to the rest of you. Got it? You got it? And now we go home. Sick. Dude, no way you're dragging this out even more. You know, it's Francesca. Eric came home and he's all beat up. You said you wouldn't hurt him. Shh, he probably got in a fight. Listen. You know, he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. It's all okay now. So you'll leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. <laughs> Listen to yourself, Vito. I, I don't know you anymore. Look, you you stay away from us, you understand? Seriously. Just just stay away. <laughs> okay. I mean your voice was annoying the hell out of me anyway, so I'm not necessarily opposed to that. So now what? We go to bed. Holy. Now what? We got people showing up at my house in the middle of the night? Watch the place! Do it! Now! Born! <laughs> you dig or cut! Born! <laughs> That's a weird thing to be calling me. $14,000 is just gone. Bro, no shot. What the fuck is going on? You guys are hitting me from that far away, huh? Yo, that's wild. Okay, um, we need ourselves a car, huh? Oh, I should get this, guys. Hey, listen, man, you see me running around in my boxers? These guys are trying to aim by me from half a mile away. I need a car. That's all I need. I just need a car. Here you go. Get out of there. Sorry, buddy. Need to do it. Look out! Man, they're really dragging out these chapters, man, and I am not enjoying it. And you're gonna just swerve in front of me like that. Really? <sighs> Come on, Joe, don't tell me you're not home. Let's go. You better not be passed out. Come on! Third time's the charm. Are they doing the rule of three? I'm coming. I'm coming. What in the? Barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Get his oh, uh, crib. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll fix you a drink. Man just remodeled the entire place. Damn, Joe, you living the good life, huh, what buddy? What the fuck? Nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really uh. Different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. <sighs> so what the hell happened? Here, take this. Those crazy fucking mix. What about them? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you want to go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. Thought you'd never ask. I must get dressed. Dude, what in the fuck? How long are these missions hey, gonna show. be, man? Yeah, I know, I know. But I need a favor. All right. Watch your mix try to kill a good friend of mine tonight. Pinstripe suit, down. baby. All right. So you heard anything about the mix lately? Nah, nothing. Why? The Mix got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take his spot, so he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. My money's on him being down at that shithole joint right now, laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left. So I guess we should just storm the place, surprise the shit out of them. 
I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax, we'll be there in a minute. Okay, I mean, that sounds good to me, Shit, Joe. You're gonna need a piece. I almost forgot. Yeah, if you got one, that'd be good. If not, I'll just beat him to death with my bare hands. There's <laughs> no difference to me. Should be one in here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Here you go. Thanks. Ready, Vito? Come on. Let's go get these fucks. I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. Fuck. Oh, yeah. You. You've got some bombs. You're damn right yes, we I do. do. You're fucking dead! I won't want to get on your bad side. Let's go! I'm almost out of bullets You shoot here. like my sister. Come on, peek your head again. Peek your head again. Come on, let's go! Chop, chop! I'm going in! What? <laughs> what? Show me what you best. got, big shot! Oh, got him covered! Okay, all right. Listen, 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 oh, listen! God. I'm trying here, man. He ain't got a chance. What? I just got smoked. Oh. Okay. Hey, there's more of them in that car. Let's go. That right. takes care of that. You drive. Stupid fuck. Got some nut job here shooting a gun. Copy that. Copy that. Well, that takes care of that, huh? Yes, it does. Yeah, Let's go. House back. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have to cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right. Let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I could do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're for Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. <laughs> Body's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. So once again, though, you're gonna you make me drop drop I'm Joe gonna... off and then drive I mean, somewhere else. That doesn't even start to make. Oh so. man! Hey, well, that stuff that got pointed up is just things, Vito. Just things. Hey, those are my things, Joe. Why do you think I do the shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. End up a fucking wharf rat like my old man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Glass is always fucking half full of you, isn't it? Okay, we're pulling up. <clears throat> New crib. Look at us go. We got a pinstripe suit. How do we even get into this place? Around here? Gotta be up here, yep. See the light. What a fucking dump. <sighs> God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Yeah, but we don't, my man. Can Fuck, we, this is creepy. Can we please just, like, end the chapter? Oh, my lord. Oh, we did it. My house burned to the ground along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. Good. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Yay! Okay, I'm going to end it here, guys. I appreciate you guys for, uh, uh, you know, sticking with me. I'm, I am getting a little bit annoyed by this game. Just because just the gameplay mechanic is just not not what I have, would have hoped. Like Mafia 1, like I said, it's a very linear story. It makes It's good. Not all of this repetitive driving made me go to one place, go back home, and then immediately send me back to the same place that I just left. But that's just me voicing my frustrations. I'll get over it. We'll finish the game. And I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Peace out, YouTube.